Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My fiance played a cruel prank on me on my birthday. I dated my fiance for three years and thought he was sweet. Not perfect, but who he is. He was adorable and is pretty funny. One of the things we talked about was moving into a great house. I always thought I should have a say in which house we go to, but he insists this his chosen house will blow my mind one day. He then kept telling me he would take me there on my birthday. My birthday came and he instructed me to wear a blindfold. He drove me to where he said the house was and then helped me out. He took me to a spot and told me to count to three. I then got hit with what was a water balloon when I took off my blindfold. There was no house. I was furious and upset, but he kept telling me I shouldn't have been so stupid to believe he could afford a house. I asked him to drive me to my parents, but he kept apologizing and saying he didn't know his joke had gone too far. Ultimately, I had to Uber and I'm at my parents. My boyfriend keeps bombarding me with texts saying he's sorry and even says he will allow me to pick out a house. How do I trust him again after the cruel prank? What? What was the point of the prank? I don't get it. Him throwing a water balloon at her and being like, jokes, there's no house. Made you come all this way for no house. Pranks are supposed to be funny. This ain't funny. He's literally just laughing at her misery. Like, okay. Bye. Imagine calling your future wife stupid because she believed you. Okay. Pranks honestly tell you a lot about a person. So if someone pranks you and they laugh at you for being sad or mad, let them go. They can prank someone else. Honestly. I slept with my wife's younger sister. Have we ruined our family? Oh. Hi, I'm 28. My wife, who I've been with since I was 15, passed away from cancer two years ago. She was my best friend and such an amazing person. The absolute best. She made me a better person. Without her here, I felt so depressed. Last weekend, I got very drunk with my wife's younger sister while hanging out and we ended up kissing and having sex without a condom. I effed up. I betrayed my wife. I betrayed her family and I feel disgusting. I am disgusted with myself for it being with her sister. My sister-in-law and I have been really close since my wife passed as friends. We hang out weekly and talk on the phone daily. She's been the person I can go to for hugs and to cry and talk about good memories of my wife. It's never been anything romantic, just a really good friend, a good family member. She's so awesome. My mother and father passed when I was in high school, so my wife's parents have been there for me as parent figures since I was 15. They invite me to family dinners a couple times a month and treat me like I was their son. I fear I've lost it all because they're gonna think I'm a scum who slept with both their daughters. And I know I deserve to lose them when they find out. I deserve the hate and not to be considered family anymore. Two days ago, I spoke to my wife's sister and we were both apologetic about what happened. She went on to tell me that she has some romantic feelings for me and has them for about a year. She said she would only pursue them if I were comfortable with it. She started listing all the things she thinks are great about me and we kissed again. I told her I need a space and time to think and she has been very respectful of that. My wife was the only sexual partner I had ever been with so I don't know if that's playing a role in my feelings. But yeah, I like her and she makes me feel happy and she's truly a good friend. I just see her as someone who's amazing, who's going to be an awesome mum and wife to someone. She's beautiful and I can't look at her like a sister anymore even when I try. I know my wife would hate me right now. I talked to my mother-in-law yesterday who I talked to about everything and I felt like a piece of shit not telling her what happened with myself and her daughter. Now I'm a liar too on top of everything. The worst part is yes, I would like to explore my feelings. Yes, I have strong feelings for her. I didn't realize I did but I do. But I know how messed up that is. I don't know how to move forward and I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to disrespect the memory of my wife. What the hell? I mean, uh, 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 I don't know how to feel about this. Why would you try to get with your late sister's husband? I don't know. That's just weird to me. I mean, yes, you guys are allowed to have feelings for each other, but like, you guys really couldn't hold it back? You guys really had to have sex? Really? Damn. I think because they were grieving together, they had a lot in common, so feelings just developed, right? I don't think it could ever work out, though. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure he misses his wife, right? So... It kind of feels like the sister is like the replacement because there are similarities. You know? Oh, jeez. That ain't good, man. That ain't good. How do you guys feel about this one? How do you guys feel? Put yourself in that shoe. 
let's say you were like the ghost of the wife, right? And you saw that happening. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. I'd, I'd really be like, I'm gonna haunt you guys for life. My boyfriend confessed this to me while he was drunk last night. What do you think of this? My boyfriend and I have been dating for a year. In the time we've been together, I've never seen my boyfriend get as drunk as he did last night. We had a small get together with some friends last night in our apartment and a lot of drinking took place. After our friends left, my boyfriend and I decided to sit out on the porch to get some fresh air and talk for a bit. I'm not sure how the conversation took a turn like this, but my boyfriend started describing his ideal type. He said he has a huge thing for Latina women and has never been with one. He just said he loves their features. He said specifically Colombian women are the most attractive and was going on about them. Then he said we should visit Colombia one day together. I asked why, so you can see the women there in person? And he just laughed and says no. And then he went on about Asian women as well, saying he also has a thing for that. Bruh, man watches too much, you know? <laughs> Come on now. I go, is my nationality attractive to you? And he literally says no, and he's never seen other women who are my nationality attractive. He then said he thinks I'm attractive, so it's okay. I don't know, hearing this icked me out. I mean, he's allowed to like what he likes, but I don't really know. I would never say stuff like that to him about other men, and I definitely wouldn't say I find his nationality unattractive. He said her nationality is not attractive? No, you know what? I say it back to him. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, same. Oh my god, we think alike. I never found your nationality attractive too, that's crazy. But you know what? Your personality is good, so yeah. I'm all good. What do you think of this? When I woke up this morning and rehashed our conversation from last night, I got a little upset, but I don't want to overreact. And again, I know he finds me attractive as he's always complimenting me and saying how beautiful he thinks I am. <laughs> That's crazy. I know so many girls would be like, you find them attractive, then move that. Go. Go. Like, I don't think I could get over this. <laughs> I feel like, you know, the small little things are things that would just make me mad, right? Like things like this, telling me that he never thought people from my nationality were attractive. <sighs> All right then, <laughs> you know, you can go to the countries that you feel have the most attractive women and date someone there. Bye. There are attractive and unattractive people from every country. It just depends on your eyes. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, bro. Oh, <laughs> I get so turned off if I was dating someone like that. Ew. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.